Danchong, the beautiful art found on Korea's wooden architecture. Combining the characters Dan, meaning red, and Chong, or blue, Danchong, in a broader sense, means to add colour. Various hues derived from the basic colours of red, black, blue, yellow and white, collectively known as Obangsek, are used to create a range of different patterns that become beautiful and magnificent decorations on traditional buildings. The colours used in Danchong are inspired by nature. The trunks of pine trees have a red hue and their needles that point towards the blue skies are green. Likewise, building columns are painted red and the upper portion of the buildings are painted green. In addition, by alternating between cool and warm colours, Danchong eliminates monotony and exhibits clear and intense colours. In other words, Danchong's principles of symmetry, repetition and gradation create a brilliant yet refined and harmonious elegance. The powder that gives Danchong its colour is called Sokche, which is made by grinding coloured soil or rocks to yield natural pigments. Fine powder makes light colours, and coarse powder makes dark colours. Blending Sokche with gelatine glue creates a highly viscous mixture that allows Danchong to remain intact on the surface of wooden ceilings and columns even after a long time. Gelatine glue is a natural adhesive made by boiling and stirring cowhide or bones of cows over heat for a long time. Danchongjang is the name for the master artisans of Danchong. Danchong is made through six steps. The surface of the wooden material on which Danchong is to be applied is sanded smooth. Gelatine glue is applied evenly to the smoothed out surface of the wood, and then green paint is applied over it. Next, the patterns are drawn on paper. Holes are made on the paper using a needle, and then a sachet of white powder is dabbed along the outlines of the pattern to make white lines appear on the wooden surface. Finally, the patterns are painted with different colours and then finished with black and white contours drawn along the pattern's edges. Although Danchong can be found in a wide range of places and art and craft items such as ancient tombs, cave paintings, lacquerware, sculptures and jewellery, it is mainly used to decorate wooden buildings. The reason for adding Danchong to buildings is to preserve and protect them from corrosion caused by rain, sunlight and wind damage. As well as to cover any blemishes in the wooden material and decorate the exterior. Symbolic Danchong patterns were added to buildings like palaces and Buddhist temples where high-ranking people resided to demonstrate hierarchy or authority. Danchong is a beautiful culture of Korea that has been passed between generations for over 1,000 years. Many people continue to strive to pass down this beautiful tradition of Danchong.